Hello. So we are back. And this time with a phone repair. Yeah. So this is not a data recovery. It's a phone repair. Now I will show you three ways to figure out a fault before opening the phone. Now, what's the difference between data recovery and a phone repair like usual? For a phone repair, the repair is quite cheap. Or a board repair. Let's say a board repair. Okay. Not a phone repair, a board repair. Like this one, this is Samsung Galaxy S10, it's not coming on, and the customer is saying uh, it's his friend's friend phone and the one turn on, uh, and no one else opened the phone, which is a good thing. Okay, so what's the difference? The difference of data recovery, you carry on how much you can, yeah? yeah the, the data recovery is charged per hour. A phone repair, how much time I will spend on a phone repair? Not more, probably than a half an hour or let's say one hour if i didn't figure it out in a half an hour i'll stop okay i, I mean it's, it's cheaper just to replace the board or uh, anyway it's not worth it's it's a cheap job personally i charge uh, 60 pounds for a board repair phone board repair so uh, it's very important the diagnostic yeah just to work with this time i mean i i gave you a price for a country like united kingdom on a different country, you can afford to spend like 10 times more time because the economy is different. I'm just giving an example. Now, three ways to check a phone. First way, this is the simplest way. You plug the charger. You plug the charger and, uh, you know, you see nothing and uh, you can't figure it out the fault. The phone is displaying nothing. You can figure it out the fault. No. The phone is dead. And you have no idea what's the problem. Okay, the second step is adding a USB meter. A USB meter, yeah, USB-C meter. You plug the USB-C meter. And the USB-C uh, USB meter is restarting. Which it tells you if something is wrong. But what is wrong, is it doesn't tell you. It's telling you, like, okay, sorry, something is wrong. It's not charging. Okay, but again, you didn't figure it out what's the problem. Now, my favorite way to check this with a normal USB, 5 volts normal USB we have here. Uh, let me light up the... You can see the voltage, you see the current. This is 5 volts, yeah? So this, it will not restart. If, anything happen you know you, you, the, the, the voltage it will just go down let's say in a case of a short circuit it will not you will not have restarting or things like that yeah so plug in the cable on the phone and you see this is a different story that's what i like to check with a normal five volts uh, uh, power supply like i have five volts uh, from a uh, ipad plug 2.4 amps so you can see the voltage is stable, yeah, so it's fine. It's taking around 0 0.1, but the voltage is jumping. And jumping voltage, we learned in the past, can mean a short circuit on, onto the board. Not necessarily a short circuit, but clearly I can see more about the phone. So what I can see, I can see the charging port is good. I can see the power is going into the phone, yeah? And I can see the phone actually is reacting and is trying to do something it's not a dead voltage a dead current like dead current is like a fixed amount of current and you don't really have a, any idea about what's going on there but jumping current is telling me a power supply which is trying to do something it's trying to start yeah and he can't start from some reason or something else but the phone it's alive i can see based on the, the jumping current i can see the phone it's alive yeah so what I will do, the charging port is fine, like how I said. What I will do, I will uh, uh, start the heater and I will uh, remove the back cover of this phone. And let's have a look inside, yeah? So see you in a minute.
Okay, so the phone is over. We remove the back cover. Okay. And now all we have to do is to take out the screws and go inside of the phone, yeah? Okay, so we remove the screws. Now, another, uh, another important uh, step is checking the battery. The battery can tell us a lot of things. Yeah, so we just open the phone. Um, we can test again. We can test uh, with the USB meter again. Same behavior, yeah? Like 0 0.1 milliamps and the current is kind of jumping, yeah? So it's same. Now, the battery can tell us a lot of things. Like you have a fully charged battery that is kind of normal to not take any current. Or if you have a fully discharged battery, like fully discharged, like even under the discharge level, yeah, the minimal level, which is around 3.5 volts or 3.4, they have zero volts, yeah? So let's check with the multimeter, let's check the battery. And you see, this is a case, we have zero volts on the battery. You can see, like zero, zero. It's under the minimal uh, level. So what I will do, I'll take the power supply. Uh, I'll limit the current around one amp for the beginning. Let's see, minus and plus. You can figure it out, minus and plus. Just to just switch on the beeping mode. Beeping mode, you have ground. And here you have plus, here you have ground. That means our ground, our ground is here. Okay, so here is ground, here is plus. And I'm trying to charge the battery, and the battery is charging. Check on the screen, 1 amp, and the voltage is going up. It's 2.8 volts, 2.9. You can see on the power supply, 3 volts, 3.1. Now, what I will do, I will raise the current, yeah? Let's raise the current to about 2 amps. You can quickly charge basically any battery with 2 amps for a short period of time, of course. We have 2.1 amps. The voltage is 3.4, 3.5. Now, with 2 amps, yeah? Uh, like you think now, okay, sorry, so 3.6 volts, I mean the battery has 3.6, no. 3.6 uh, is the voltage which is on the power supply, but from there you have cables, you lose some voltage and some current there. Then you have the battery electronic board, you lose some voltage and current also there. So, uh, let's say with 2 amps, when the power supply it will say 4.2 volts, the cell the battery, it will have around 3.6 real voltage, okay? So that's the that's kind of the, the translation, yeah? So on the power supply showing 4.2, the battery should have like 3.6. Yeah, the battery is very, very discharged. And what we see that jumping voltage means a power supply which is trying hardly to charge the battery and it can't charge it. I found before like battery stuck on a very low level and uh, when it's a very low level on the battery, the phone it will not charge like normally. It will charge with a very low current and uh, some batteries cannot be taken out from that state with a very low current. Yeah, you need like proper uh, high current like on this case I'm using like 2 amps. 3.8 volts. Charging slowly, probably it will take a while. I will edit the video. You know what? I can tell you, the bat this battery is quite good. I mean, you can check the internal resistance from uh, what you see. And this battery is quite good. Quite good. So I don't understand why the phone goes on this stage. Like the battery, probably the customer left the phone for a long time without charging can be yeah the battery goes very low and it doesn't charge anymore but i don't think here we are speaking about faulty phone we are speaking about 
stuck battery uh, discharge discharge stuck battery otherwise the current even 3.5 I can push into the battery even 3.5 amps and the battery is taking it you can see the battery internal resistance is low you can see the voltage like 4.4 there so on the battery should be even lower battery probably has like 3.6 right now we can check that yeah, let's check so the battery voltage is 3.7 that's good that's great now let me check if it's charging with this one but i need a wi-fi antenna Nine volts, zero point six amps, eight percent. You know what? I'm not really happy with, with what I'm, I'm seeing here, okay? If I'm not happy, I'm not happy. Five volts, 0 0.2. 0 0.2 with five volts, I get like 0 0.2 amps, which is very low. I mean, it's very, very low. Let me try with a different uh, plug, yeah? Okay, the charging current uh, doesn't make me happy. I, I mean, with 5 volts, the phone is taking around 0 0.2 amps, which is very low. And you can see, kind of, the phone is charging, but actually, not really. Not with 0 0.2 amps. Here I can, I should see, I'm expecting to see, like 2 amps yeah like 10 times more current so uh let's try and do some research about this so the first thing what we have to check if is the phone is taking five volts inside maybe we have uh, the phone is losing the current on the charging port yeah so we can check here from here and the input and you can see on the screen, check on the screen, 5.1. So the charging port, the VCC line is fine. But that's not enough. Can be an issue with the data pins. Yeah, I don't believe it is, but can be. Okay, let's go into the board and have a look a little bit on this chip. Yeah, hopefully it will, will uh, hopefully a reflow, it will solve our problem. Okay, let's go and have a look for this chip, U8031. Okay, so that's the board. And the chip is somewhere here, so we have to take out this. Now we have to remove the shield. Now we remove the shield. Let's check. So we have this chip. 
and this has a heat sink over, you can see. Usually the components they are getting hot are most likely to fail. So I'll be using a little bit of flux. Around 370 degrees. Just a short reflow. And the chip is moving, clearly the reflow has been done. Now all what is left is to test. If it's not working, probably I have to replace that chip. Let's cool down the board. I'll use a thermal so I will use some thermal pad. It's getting cold easily. Good, let's connect the wireless charging antenna. And let's connect the charger. I have 0 0.26 and it show you charging but I'm not happy with that the current is too low the current is way too low it should be around 2 amps here Okay, on this point, all I want is to replace this chip, okay, which is managing the charging. Now, what you can check on the board, I recommend you to check this. Yeah, so you plug in the charger. Yeah, we don't have battery. You have one, uh, you can check if you have input. It's very possible. Let's say, okay, um, I'm not sure where the 5 volts is. I want to see if my 5 volts from the cable, yeah, is going to the boot to this chip, yeah. It's not like okay, I want to check from here to here. No, I want to check from here to here. Yeah. So the the way how you check anyway on Samsung stand, but basically on any phone, that's the best test what you can do, yeah. To see if the if the five volts is reaching uh, actually the, 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 the charging chip. And on this one uh, I believe here, yeah, here. You can see on the screen we have 5.1 volts, yeah? So 5.1 and this chip is meant to charge the battery. So we have 5 volts on that chip. So what I'm going to do is I will replace this chip. It's a Max 77705, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I mean... It looks like this ship is faulty, so I try a reflow. I try a reflow, and a reflow I fix a lot with just the reflowing, and it didn't work. So I'll replace this ship. So I will come with the. I will come with the hot air, 360 degrees. I'm using Celsius, and we are gonna replace this ship without reboiling. Okay, so that's the chip. We remove the chip. The chip position. Okay. Now what I will do, I have another board here. I have another board here. This one. This is a faulty board. 
and uh, yeah, this is 10 plus. It's not the same, but must have same chip here. Okay, so everything is clean and tidy. Yeah, let's see the chip. And the chip is nice. Now a little bit of flux. Perfect. Let's get the chip. The chip position like that. Good. Now let's solder the chip back. Okay, so the chip went to his position. Okay, everything is fine. Now let's cool down the board. And hopefully it will work. Now let's see. Battery. Charger. And it's taking one amp. Check here. Yeah. Of course, you don't have the wireless antenna. But let's plug it back and check. Let's plug. Let's put the board back. And the wireless charging antenna. Yes, yeah, so pay attention on the car. We have one amp, five volts, one amp. You see one amp? I mean, I did expect to see two amps, but I believe probably because this is an Apple charger, it's not Samsung. But anyway, one amp compared with 200 milliamps. Yeah, so that's the catch. Now, probably if I go now with the USB C, if I go now with the USB C, let's see the current. I'm curious. So, with the USB C, with the USB C, let's see the current. You remember it was like 9 volts and 600 milliamps. You remember? And we have we have 8.8, 1.6 amps. You can see. So clearly, this chip was burned. Yeah, the max one. That's why it's good to have like spare boards. 
you can uh, you can anytime you need a chip you desolder the chip and uh, you move it to whatever whatever you need yeah where do you need a chip so this one is fixed yeah because that's the right amount of current again compare with the Compare with the one with the five volts. What we what I told you to check, yeah. You see one up. I will put uh, all back together. Hopefully it's coming on. Should sure, come on. Yeah, it is coming on. Okay, I will put all back together because this is a hundred percent repair. We have to clean the camera to make everything nice. We have to put the 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 shield back, the heatsink back on the CPU. So all we did, we replace the the charging IC, yeah, the max chip. Yeah, you have to be careful, especially on this model, because you have the flash next to this chip. Okay, so let me put all back together. See you in a minute. Okay, all done. I put uh, I put the phone uh, kind of back together. It's taking like one amp from the normal charger, and it's taking let's see, yeah, one point six amp with uh, eight point eight volts. Okay, so. Uh, you see, this is a this is a case where most most of the people on the repair business, what they will do or what they will say, because I know what I seen on the past on the comments, they will check with another battery. That's what they will do. And the problem is, the battery is very easy to test, and I made so many videos explain. You know the relationship what you see on the power supply between the voltage current and actually the, the voltage of the battery yeah so it's very easy to figure it out if the battery is good or not and we have the back cover the back cover i need some uh, i need some glue but the phone is like new mm -hmm. No scratch, nothing. Perfect. Okay. So, uh, don't blame the battery. I mean, don't blame something, what you think it is. Yeah, I, I think I want to check on another battery. No. Yeah, it's very easy. You can check the battery, the power supply. The, 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 the battery resistance is low, it's fine. You, if, even if the battery internal resistance is high. Yeah, if it's high, you can have that kind of reading. Yeah, like low charging current. But that's why you have the power supply to test the battery. You figure you, It's one second to figure out if that battery is good or not. I made the videos and I explained how you, how you can check. Okay, so I will stop now. Uh, you know what? I was, I swear, I didn't expect this video to be that long. I, I was thinking, I was about to swear. Actually, all what the problem was with the phone was a very low battery. Because I had in the past, like phones, just uh, with zero volts battery, just charging the battery with the power supply, the, the phone come back to life with, with char and char was charging fine, working fine. So the only problem was the battery. Uh, no one charges the battery, and the battery goes like to zero volts. But not this time. This time we have like a like a burn chip. Yeah. So even fast charging is charging fine. Okay. So I'll stop now. I will say uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, you know, just uh, try to pay attention to the details. You know, just because it doesn't charge. That doesn't mean it's the battery. It doesn't mean it's just a reflow job or just a cleaning charging port. No, sometimes there are burnt chips. Yeah? Like on this case, the charging chip. 
So uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.